I feel like I feel like crap, of course, but I also feel like are we living in some type of simulation right now? Are are we living in some type of bizarro world? This cannot be the same world that I was living in 20 years ago when PlayStation 1 was at its prime. This cannot be the same world that we living in when, when PlayStation 2 was at its prime. It, it feels like the, the standards of Sony has sunken so low that we're, we're literally sitting around and we're parading absolutely nothing. We, are, we, we, as PlayStation fans, we are sitting around and we are parading absolutely nothing. And what makes matters even worse, it's it's like I, I'm looking at, uh, at gamers, I'm looking at the gaming media, and, and everybody's just going along to get along, right? Oh, congratulations, 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 congratulations! For what? For acquiring Housemark? I, I I don't even know the developers. I don't I don't even know who these flipping developers are. I gotta look down at the damn to to, to know what the name is. This is egregious. How the standards of Sony have sunken so low that we are applauding the Returnal creators being acquired by Sony? <laughs> there is so much I want to get into due to the hypocrisies of this. First, Sony said that acquiring studios is not their thing. Now, when they acquire studios, we sit there and we throw some type of light parade. Not only that, acquiring the Returnal creators? I mean, I'm hearing from die-hearted PlayStation fans like Amazing Lucas. Oh, I guess he's not a PlayStation fan anymore. He's been kicked out of the community. His word doesn't matter anymore because he had blatant proof and obvious reasons for wanting his money back when it pertains to Returnal one of the most buggiest and glitchiest PlayStation claims known to man, that and Ratchet and Clank, under Jim Ryan's leadership. So, am I living in, the, in a simulation right now, guys? Am I in a matrix right now? Where's Morpheus to come in here and, and assist me and guide me and teach me Kung Fu through some type of uh, program? Yoshida, what, what, what? I really don't like this guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know they're going to ding my YouTube, PlayStation, Sony, because I'm coming out and I'm being honest. I don't like this guy. You know, let me get to my point. For, for, before I jump into that, I'm still mad. I, I, I am, I am freaking. My blood is boiling. 
you might can't tell because, you know, I'm getting older. Years have gone by and, and I'm not really, I'm not really, <sighs> I'm about to cry because it's <sighs> relax, relax, relax. I can't believe that Sony got rid of J Japan Studios. Got rid of Japan Studios for this. I can't believe that Sony said, Japan Studios, you're out of here. But Housemark and Blue Point, come on in. And Yoshida, you didn't even stand up for your brothers. You didn't even stand up for your Japanese brothers that helped sculpt it and mold the PlayStation brand that it is today. Like I said, I never met Yoshida before. But the Most High has gifted me sight beyond sight. And even though I've never met this person before, I'm able to know that this person is not a good person. Yoshida, you couldn't even stand up for your Japanese brothers. I remember years ago when the PlayStation 4 came out, they did some type of Q&A with the fans. It was him and it was a fan of PlayStation diehards. And, and every year, now the PlayStation diehards are the ones you don't see on the internet and, and, and me. You guys might think a PlayStation high diehard is one of these losers that sit on the internet all day attacking game pass and trying to defend $70 games. But the real fans were, were out there with Yoshida. They were talking to Yoshida. They were asking Yoshida questions. And it, it always seems like before the council generation started, when it pertains to the PS3, PS4, PS5, the fans start asking the real questions. And the real questions are this. Hey, when are we going to start getting more Japanese games? And then every time we speak up and ask for more Japanese games over there at PlayStation, we, 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 we either get shut down by, by Jim Ryan or Yoshida and or the, the quote-unquote diehard PlayStation fans that don't buy none of their games are going to tell us that we're crazy and absurd and we're, we're, we're out of touch when it pertains to PlayStation. How dare you sit there and ask for those games? Go, go play uh, Killzone. Did you play it? No, I... Uh, You want a Japanese games? Go play Astro Bot. Did you play Astro Bot? Uh, yeah, but <sighs> this fan who asked for the Japanese games, I believe he asked for a Legend of Dragoon remake or a remaster or a sequel or things of that such. And you should have just came out blatantly and just told him no directly to him face. Just said no. But when some other weirdo jumped up and asked for a kill zone collection or something like that to be ported to the PlayStation 4, he said, Well, you know, you never know. Things will work out. Things we're working on it right now. He left the door open when it pertains to a, another crappy kill zone game. But when it became, when it pertains to creating Legend of Dragoon, one of the most uh, appreciated, most highest rated, most loved game by PlayStation fans, that door was shut tight. Uh, shut tight. Could you imagine if Reggie, uh, I don't know who's working at Nintendo, there, Doug Bowser, Nintendo fans came to him and said, "Hey man, can we get another uh, Mother, you know, Mother Four or something like that?" No. I believe they would have been ported over Mutter 3 if it hadn't nothing, you know, due to translation issues and, uh, uh, you know, things that they can accept in Japan that they're not willing to accept in America. 
that's one of the main reasons why that game isn't here today. It doesn't have nothing to do with anything else. And here it is. Here goes Sony again, picking and choosing what they think we need. A bunch of old men. I don't understand how somebody like Jim Ryan, Google claims he's 52. He doesn't look 52 to me. How is Jim Ryan an old man, the voice of the community, the voice of what's new and fresh and hot? I, I got a lot. I got, I got a lot to get off my chest right now because this burns my soul. You got rid of Japan Studios for Housemark, whatever this company is called. Sony fanboys don't even know the games that this company has made. In Blue Point? I, I, Yoshida, you are, you are the worst of the worst. You didn't stand up for your Japanese brothers. But in order for you to keep your job, you kept your mother flipping mouth touched, slut. And you just go along with everything that Jim Ryan says that you can keep your job. I'm really, really tired of the go along, get along, especially when it pertains to gaming. I don't trust anybody that doesn't stand for something. You're standing up for this and this is garbage. Look at this guys, Japan studios had to go for these people. Japan studios had to go for these people. Oh, I, I have to make sure I keep my temper low because I, I'm either going to cry or I'm going to curse. And I don't want to curse. My boy Blandu. Where's Blandu? I, I shed it a single tear by this tweet, right? This this tweet alone by Blandu, my guy. Very disrespectful to the studios that helped make PlayStation what it is. I got to go back. Did I say in the tweet? I'm going live. This is uh, really starting to boil my blood. Yes. I would just not go along to get along with this. Japan Studios got dropped for this? Are you kidding me? This is me saying that. This is Blandu. Very disrespectful to the studios that helped build the brand that is PlayStation that it is today. And to watch the blatant disrespect from the so-called Sony fanboys and, and just not, to, when they got dropped, they didn't say not, nah, no, nothing thing. They didn't say anything. Who are these people? Who are these clowns that are cluttering Twitter today? You can't even enjoy your Twitter timeline without these losers popping up and just, I mean, like obsessed with Xbox. And when it comes to their stuff, they don't even buy it. They don't even buy their own games. Uzobi, they had to drop Japan Studios, man. They weren't they weren't making their weight around, man. They weren't. Their games were flopping left and right. Returnal was a game that was promoted by the lying gaming media that got nines and tens before its launch. And Returnal has yet to even crack the top five on the PlayStation Store. This is a PlayStation exclusive. That a brand new game to play on your PlayStation 5 didn't even crack the top five. Could you imagine if this was the Xbox Series X and it was a, a brand new Halo game? Could you imagine if this was Nintendo Switch and it was a brand new Zelda game? Well, of course those games would sell, Zilby. Those are some 
Zelda, Halo, come on, man. Those are the top games. So you, you mean to tell me that Returnal is that dog shit? <laughs> Though that's not a top game? You're proving to me right now that Returnal is not a top game. Is that what you're saying? You mean to tell me that it's nothing more than just media propaganda that we were lied to into buying a $70 crap, crappy garbage game? PlayStation, the, the Japan Studios, pioneers of rhythm games. Always there to usher in new technology like the DualShock, the PSP, Move, iToy, and Vita for freaking Housemark. Is that what they're called? I don't know. I don't know these people. I don't know who they are. As well as being one of the most creative teams. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was one of the things that I loved about Japan Studios was just how freaking creative they were. Compared to the games that they make now. Well, there's absolutely no creativity whatsoever. And they're getting rewarded for that. These are video games with no creativity. They're all just nothing more than a simple checklist of games you've already played before, but just reskin in their terrible LBGT uh, pro agenda characters. Sad times. Wow. I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. <sighs> Wait a second. Let's let's just, let's do some research. Let's do some research. This this really bothers me, man. I really want to get on here, scream, yell curse but I can't <sighs> let's do some research real quick because <laughs> we know Zobie 70 streams are very informative because if I don't bring the, the proof then people will be considered th to be trolling Sony, we don't want to buy, we don't want to throw money into buying studios. We believe in building games from the ground up. And they buy this garbage. This is Japan Studios, guys. Look at their games. Gravity Rush. Uh, I guess they dropped all these guys who made these amazing games. Besides Knack. <laughs> I didn't even know Knack was Japan Studios. I thought that was whatever the other guy's name yeah, yeah gravity rush the last guardian demon souls loco roco shadow of colossus parapet rapper oh i love parapet rapper that was the first rhythm game to come to the states it was by playstation and parapet raptor japan always had rhythm games but this was the first one to come i loved it love this i thought it was so cool so creative. And to this day, I've never seen something so cool and so creative. Papaton, that's a good one. Ico, Shadow Colossus, Ape Escape, Gravity Rush 2, Tokyo Jungle. Tokyo Jungle's a cool game. Soul Sacrifice, Ico, Freedom Wars, Legend of Dragoo, White Knight Chronicles. I used to love that game until they shut down the servers. Just an array of amazing games. Roll Galaxy. Uh, uh, um, <clears throat> Dark Chronicles, Dark Cloud, one and two. Why not? Uh, they made the Bleach game. An array of amazing games, amazing games. The list goes on and on. 
I believe they even got rid of the uh, siphon filter creators as well. So add that to the list. Now let's look at Housemark games. Let's look at this. <laughs> this is what we dropped. <laughs> Those amazing games for. This is what we did. This is what we got, guys. We got Returnal, <laughs> Resogun. <laughs> I've never even heard of these games before. And everybody's putting out congratulatories. What are these games? Why are we congratulating Housemark for this? For Returnal. A game that didn't even sell. It flopped. Resogun, a game nobody bought or played. After that, dear Lord, these are cell phone games. These are cell phone apps. We're, we're parading around a cell phone app creator and not upset that they got rid of the Japan Studios? That made some of the best games ever. <sighs> they could have. I, I don't know how things work um, when it pertains to, to pushing agendas. I don't know if Sony can come to Japan. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if Sony tried to come to Japan to say, let's push our agendas, and Japan said no. Because, you know, there's certain things that you can do here in America that you can't do in other countries. And I, I, uh, in my uh, for the Extendo podcast, this Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to show you how Sony will push the agenda here, but they won't push the agendas over there. So, you know, I mean, tell me that, I don't know. Did Sony try to come to Japan Studios and says, make a game that's going to be pro LBGT uh, and, and, and pro, you know what I mean? Women's right. You know, they were already making girls in video games for as long as I can remember, but you know what I mean? And then Japan studio says no. And then they got rid of them. I don't know. Look at this. Sony Japan studio is calling down today. Demon souls director. These are the people that, uh, uh, Japan studios creatives included silent hill, the gravity rush creators. Demon Souls producers and Bloodborne. Bloodborne, one of the greatest PlayStation 4 games I've ever played in my life. I was on Bloodborne before the PlayStation fanboys got onto Bloodborne five or six years later. I was on Bloodborne way before they were on Bloodborne. I remember, I remember clear as day that these guys were hyping up the Order 1886, a pathetic community of people. I know. And I was the only one sitting up in these podcasts, these PlayStation podcasts, and I was saying, Bloodborne, Bloodborne, Bloodborne is where it's at. If you don't believe me, look. Look. Because y'all don't y'all don't respect y'all don't respect what I say. I'm gonna have to show you the proof. Look at this. Look at it. Look, please bear with me, guys. Please bear with me. <laughs> look at look, 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 look. I was the guy that was behind Bloodborne all the way in the PlayStation community. Now they got on board five or six years later. <laughs> Yo, look at this. <laughs> look at this. 
Look at me. Look at me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Look at this. Man camps outside of GameStop for Bloodborne launch. Amazing Bloodborne bun bagging. Look at this. This is me. This is me camping outside in the egregious tufter terrain. The blistering heat, the blistering cold. This is me. See, this is what angers me the most is that tomorrow is launch day for Bloodborne. <laughs> Look at this. And as you can see, there are no posters for Bloodborne. This angers me. There's no advertisements that are coming out. Sony didn't even advertise the game. Sony's mad that Bloodborne didn't sell, and they didn't even advertise it. That's the problem. They never advertised any of the Japanese games that came from their company. In six to seven months from now, they got the latest Battlefield poster. I mean, come on, you know what I mean? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm outside my GameStop. This is what it is, people. This is what it is. If if the Nintendo fanboys can wait outside for the latest gay meebos, <laughs> no, no disrespect to the gay meebos. <laughs> if they can't do that, then we can do this for PlayStation exclusives. Yeah. This is what we can do for PlayStation exclusives. Go ahead and camp out and make out. This, this is my little <laughs> setup right here. Maybe got the sleeping bag all set up, ready to be the first one in line to get Bloodborne. Look at this. Damn it, I'm hyped. I'm flipping hyped. This is this has to be. Honestly, this is probably the most PlayStation, the PlayStation exclusive I've ever been hyped up for in a long time. I'll say the last... Um, 2015. I was hyped up for was Nino Kuni. That was back in... Oh, my God, that was like five years ago. I mean, what year was that come out? Somebody let me know the coordinates of that. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm very hyped. I'm, I'm going to be out here all night. I want to be first one in line. Uh, I know some of you are probably thinking that's foolish, that's childish, that's idiotic. Why would you do that? It's just a video game. But no, I, I just want to support Sony. I want to be the first one online to have the game. I want to support the creators of Bloodborne. I want to support from software. I want to show them that we got dedicated fans out here. I want to be the first one in line. You know what I mean? I want to be the first one to have it, the first one online. Because when you're the first one online, you're able to level up your character and to do PVPs. Look at this. Look at this. Look how excited I am for Japanese games. Look how excited I am five years ago. Six years ago. Now, do you see anybody camping outside for Returnal? Look at look how excited I am. Wow. What am I talking about on here? Let me take this one. Snake eyes. What's this? Amazing bloodborne. I'm bagging. Yeah. Oh, there's music. <laughs> it's too much music. <laughs> I look better now than I did back then. I look way better. Consistently working out, dropping fried foods. Oh, I look so much better. I look good back then too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. House Mark, this, 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 they just, they literally just announced that um, Blue Point and, and House Mark is being, and then here comes the Sony Shields and the gaming media. House Mark and Blue Point are smart pickups for Sony and PlayStation. <laughs> How is this smart? I don't understand 
when Sony does something, it's it's smart. Oh my god, they're so smart, man. Microsoft acquires studios. Oh my god. This is toxic, man. What about the gamers? It's not fair. The same gaming media will come out and will cry foul if Microsoft comes out here and starts acquiring studios. But when PlayStation does it, oh my God. It is, wow, they're so smart. No, they're not. Returnal didn't sell. Blue Point that worked on the Demon Souls remaster didn't sell and never even cracked the top 20. It never even cracked the top 20. Blue Point, Blue Point. All they do is remasters to Japanese games. They're, they're, they're a remastering company. All they do is remaster games. Uh, games they, they remaster games that you're, you're confused on why they're even remastering it. <laughs> you're like, why, why did you remaster for that? I remember they did the Last Guardian remaster. I said, what? The, why? why the hell did they do that? They did the Demon Souls remaster. Now, I, I, that was cool. That was cool-ish. Until I found out that the price tag was $70. And I said, what? $70 for a remaster? Of a game that nobody bought 10 years ago? And the same Sony fanboys would get mad at the Zelda Wind Waker uh, 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 port to the Switch. At least the Zelda Wind Waker is adding new tricks and abilities and move mode, not move mode, what you call that, Joy-Con <laughs> controls, Amiibos and all these other stuff. Not only that, it's a, it's a classic game from Nintendo that goes up in value. Meanwhile, it's Demon Souls, you can buy the Demon Souls game for the PS3 for $5. You'll be lucky to even find a copy of Wind Waker for the Wii. Wii U, wherever it was on. Right now, you're, you're able to get Demon's Souls for half the price right now because nobody bought it. How is applying, uh, acquiring a cell phone company game company and, and, a, and a people who make remasters to, to Japanese games that we were confused about how is that so freaking smart? I wonder if he even goes into detail on how smart it is. This morning has been announced that Sony has acquired how smart developers of Returnal and after a quickly deleted by tweet by Tony Japan, there's probably also acquired Blue Point as well. A developer who worked on recent successful re the game was not successful. Why are they lying in the gaming media? Why are they lying? They're lying. This is a lie. Recent successful reinvention of the Demon Souls for the PS5? It didn't sell, guys. It didn't sell. It barely cracked the top 20. Wow, the lying is getting out of control. While these purchases aren't on the scale of Microsoft, buying Bethesda, nothing really is. Here we go. You know? Nothing's going to be able to match that. I mean, you're trying to lower expectations for PlayStation. But he didn't say anything in his article about Sony saying that we're not going to be throwing money around to acquire studios. We're going to build it from the ground up. They are regardlessly extremely smart, logical acquisitions for Sony, two proven developers that will now be added to Sony's best-in-class roster of first-party studios. What the hell? Is this man insane?
the gaming media is so lucky that the the internet is filled with PlayStation weirdos because if this was real gaming, if this was 20 years ago, articles like this could not surface. People couldn't get away with this type of garbage if it was 20 years ago. But thanks to Greg Miller and IGN for promoting uh, uh, this toxic uh, fanboy narratives in the gaming media, it, it's just, it's gotten out of freaking control. Two proven developers? What did they prove? The Last Guardian flopped. You can buy that game for $5. Demon's Souls was a flop. It didn't even crack the top 20. Returnal didn't even crack the top five, and that's a brand new game for the PlayStation 5. Nothing's cracking the number one spot over there at PlayStation. That's not success. I dare you right now. I challenge you to go on to your Nintendo Switch and look at the, the top sold, top 20, all Nintendo games. Exclusives. Ratchet and Clank couldn't even make number one. Sony's best in class <laughs> roster of first party studios. What? Am I am I high? Is it just me? Is it me? Is it me? Is it just me? Is is is, is anybody out there really enjoying The Last of Us 2? Is it just me? Is anybody out there really enjoying Horizon Zero Dawn? Is it just me? What first class, first party, first, what is going on? Best in class roster? What what is he talking about? Am I the only one that's looking at the sales numbers and then looking at the players' reaction of people who actually played the game after the reviewers and people are going, meh. Wasn't really worth all the hype. What is going on, man? This is this is crazy. Housemark deeply impressed this year with Returnal and evolution and scale of its past games like Resogun. <laughs> this is what we got rid of uh, Japanese studios for, man. Bluepoint is even more logical choice for Sony. Given their long history with the company, Bluepoint has worked tirelessly at adaptations of many Sony classics, remasters of God of War, Ico, Shadow of Colossus, Uncharted, Gravity Rush, and in most recent Demon Souls. They all flopped. They've been pretty much doing uh, nothing but remastering games for Sony or porting Sony games to Xbox for decades now with their one interim project working on PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. What the fuck? Guys, you're gonna look gonna have to look forward to this when it comes to blue point games. When it comes to house mark or whatever they're called, who knows? Who cares? Just expect uh just more indie like cell phone games for $70. Is there anything wrong with uh indie roguelike $70 games? Absolutely. Is there anything wrong with indie games? No, but for $70 for a roguelike is atrocious. It's egregious and it's unacceptable. Thank God nobody bought it because it will not become the standard. It will only become the standard at PlayStation, but it will never become the standard in gaming. Nobody follows PlayStation. PlayStation follows everybody else. The only thing is when Nintendo and Microsoft do it first, they get attacked for it. But when Sony does it, it's so smart.
this is what you need to look forward to when it pertains to Blue Point. You're going to be getting games that you do not want remastered, and they're going to be charging you seventy plus dollars for it. Microsoft acquires studios where people actually want to play those games. I've literally seen Sony fanboys tweet to the public after months of bashing the Xbox, went out and bought the Xbox Series X. At the end of the day, I'm a gamer, man. After that uh, event that we just had at E3 of Microsoft, Xbox fans ran out and got it. Some of them already have it. Don't be surprised that a lot of PlayStation, these guys on here crying about Xbox and Game Pass, don't be shocked that a lot of them own Game Pass and an Xbox. Don't be surprised. And then when you ask them about it, hey, at the end of the day, I'm a gamer, man. Every time PlayStation does an event, I've never seen some type of diehard Xbox fan, Nintendo fan say, hey, you know what? Now's the time, man. Now it's time to go get me that, man. I've never seen it. I haven't seen it for like since the PlayStation 1 era. PlayStation 2 era. The only time I've seen people go say they want to get a PlayStation uh, 2, and it wasn't for the exclusive, never is. It was to play Madden. The new Madden. That's why the, uh, the PlayStation fanboys keep harassing um, Rockstar to create to create another Grand Theft Auto because they ain't nobody buying a PlayStation for the exclusives. Not no way, not no how, not no way, never. And this is the funny thing: I love PlayStation for well, I loved the history of PlayStation is only because of the exclusives. It was never really about the brand loyalty. Whenever I would debate with people, it had nothing to do with the graphics. I remember when I was having my debates with the Xbox guys back in the day. This is before YouTube. This is back in like 2003 when the Xbox came out. And the main appeal of the Xbox was that the games looked better on the Xbox than the PlayStation 2. And I said, yeah, but you ain't got these though. And I, I pulled out I started pulling out the games from the PlayStation 1 and the PlayStation 2 era. And that's how I won every debate every, every single time. Did I, my hand was stacked to the brim with games. So I was always a fan of the PlayStation brand only because of its exclusives. But this is going 20, almost 30 years ago. Now I'm like, I'm looking at the games. They don't have any third party Japanese support. Nintendo has that. They don't got anything coming from Japan. And, and when you look at the, 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 the the games that are coming out here in America, from Seattle to California, you're like, oh my, what the hell is this garbage? This is what we're defending? This is what we're standing up for? Impossible. I've never seen a company go from, from sugar to crap so hard, and yet people are just, they are just fighting for PlayStation. For nothing. They, they're doing nothing. They're going backwards. Look at this. Look at this. It's getting to the point. I, I'm not even sure if they even like PlayStation for its games. I, I think it's 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 something deeper than that. Check this out. I think it's something really deeper and, and, and sick. Sicker than just the games. For real, look, 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 look. Look at it. 
How come every time I get I can't get to my my bookmarks? What's going on here? Where are my bookmarks? <laughs> oh crap! Dang! I can't even. Oh, here it is. I don't know why every time I turn my screen, I can't get to my bookmarks. Look at this. Look at this. It's it's deeper than just the games. It's something weird going on with these guys. And the way they defend PlayStation, it's it's almost like sexual. Man kicked out of an electronics store for pleasuring himself over a PlayStation. So when I see so many fanboys, uh, you know, parading and cheering around Housemark and Blue Point or whatever, and, 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 and in my opinion, I go, why? But the brand loyalty is so strong that these guys are willing to just do. They see a PlayStation and they start they start getting aroused. It's not even a joke. It's it's concerning. I don't even debate with these guys because I don't even, you know, they be coming at me on Twitter and I, I don't even go back and forth with them because they're freaking weird. Look at this. He, he just sold the PlayStation and just started just, I'm, I'm guaranteed there's some Sony fanboys down there that'll, that'll, that'll agree with this. They're defending it. Yeah, man, we that shows how much we love our council, man. We love it, man. You can't love it for the games. You can't love it for Jim Ryan. What's really going on over that place? I mean, the, the things that they allow places to get with get away with are things that they wouldn't even allow their own girlfriend to get away with if they ever had a girlfriend. Their girlfriend could be lying to them. You know what? Nope, that's it. That's enough, man. I can't take the lies. It's enough. It's enough lies. First of all, only a Sony simp, fanboy simp would sit there and, and, and allow a woman to lie, to lie to him even once. I don't care if you're telling a white lie. I'm going to be like, hey, you got to go. I don't even care if you made a mistake. You, you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> what in the hell this is concerning oh my god how do i get back to and in, in the media and in, in the people are coming up blue point house marker a plus gets for sony what's going on here blue point will do amazing things especially if that's accidental reveal pans out sony has mountains of awesome classic games that could do with the with the demon souls level of refresh this is just, i'm really tired of these type of tweets this man has no what the, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about This is not an A-plus move. This is an egregious move. These are $70 remasters to games that you do not even freaking want. And since when has Sony went back into their mountains of catalog to bring back games that we actually want? When? Since when? What the hell? What the hell out of the catalog of games can they actually remaster? What? They're not going to go back to the PS2, PS1 era. What are they going to be bringing back resistance and kill zone? What are they going to help remaster The Last of Us 1? That's all I seen today was just people just uh, applauding and patting the back of, of, of Sony. Good job. Good job, Sony. Good job, Sony. You did it. A plus. A, like a plus. No, acquiring Bethesda is A plus. Applying uh, 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 for 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 uh, uh, Obsidian, 
is A+. Plus. Buying Rare is A+. Plus. Buying two companies that nobody even knows how to spell or never even heard before is not A+. Plus. We didn't start hearing about these companies until 2021 because they were the only ones that worked on, on PlayStation games. Nobody knew about this company until 2020-2021. Both of them. And the only reason we know about them is because of Demon Souls and, and whatever the hell that other crappy game is. The roguelike $70 shooter that people demanded their money back because the game was so freaking broken. I even saw the Xbox guys applauding. Can I find some? I don't even know. Like I, I started seeing pro Xbox guys. What's going on, guys? Xbox guys, come on. Can we talk? Can we stop, please? I, you know, this, this, this whole Michelle Obama. When they aim low, we aim high. Is really starting to get under my nerves, man. It's really starting to get under my skin. <laughs> I know Phil Spencer said we need to be more positive and, and due to tribalism, we have to follow what Phil Spencer says. I get it. But come on, man. It, it, they literally, the, the PlayStation fanboys literally just dragged you guys over the weekend over, over Xbox Game Pass. And you, you still got this whole, you know, we aim low. Come on, guys. It's time to start getting a little dirty, man. It's time to start fighting back. That's like Goku, you know, telling Frieza, no, we won't fight. Nope. He's like, what's the point of watching this stupid show then if, if Goku's not going to sit there and stand up against the bully? Good job, Sony. Way to go. Oh, it just turns my stomach whenever I see an Xbox uh, supporter run out there and buy Ratchet and Clank or Returnal and buy a PlayStation 5. For what? You're good. You're good where you're at. You're good. You're literally wasting money that you don't have. You do not have $500 and another $70 plus dollars and another $70 plus dollars and another $70 plus dollars to go on top of that. You do not have that type of money. I'm sorry. The only people who have that type of money is Bill Gates, George Soros, nobody, nobody, nobody. If you're not making money, Microsoft, if you're not making monies in the trillions, you do not have money to be sitting around and buying it. That's about Series X, uh, uh, PlayStation 5, $70 games. That's redonkulous. You don't have that type of money. We don't. These are the end times. We don't have money left. There is no more money anymore. They're printing money out of air. The value of the dollar is worthless. A trillionaire can tell you that. And you guys have children. You're working two or three jobs. Your Twitters are more popular than your YouTube pages. And you're not making any money off of Twitter. Stop just throwing around frivolous money like that, man. You are good with the Xbox Series X. The Xbox Series X is a most powerful console we've ever had in our entire lives. At a decent price. It costs less than the PlayStation 5. Compared to the value that you're getting out of the Xbox Series X. Not only that, you're able to get Game Pass for a dollar. And with that dollar, you get access to over hundreds of uh, thousands of games for free. There is no way that you can have a log of over hundreds of games 
for a dollar to $9.99 a month for free and be looking over there at PlayStation talking about, I need to play Returnal and Ratchet and Clank, all because Graham over Greggy and IGN said it was a 10 out of 10. Are you insane? I'm sorry. I got to ride my Xbox guys right now. I'm sorry. I got to. And I like them. And they're going to be mad at me, but I don't care. I'm not a fanboy. I'm not a fan of anybody. I'm a pro-truther. Not a fan of nothing. How is a man in his 30s going to be a fan of something? You've got an extensive backlog of over hundreds of games. Octopath Travelers, all the Elder Scrolls games, all the Fallout games, Dragon Quest Eleven, Pillars of Eternity 1 and 2, the Yakuza series, all the Yakuza games. Not only that, you have EA Play, access to all the EA games. Hopefully, hopefully, Battlefield, the new Battlefield comes to the EA Play, please, because I don't want to pay $70. <laughs> I mean, I will pay $70 for that new Battlefield game, but I would really like to get it for free on Game Pass. Please, I hope something works out in the future for that. That that new Battlefield looks lit. It looks like something I actually want to pay. Play, play and pay for. These dudes went to the top of... <laughs> Y'all saw the trailer. They went to the top of the building. They drove a car in the elevator. They drove the car up there. <laughs> there was a helicopter flying by. The, heli the, the car jumped off, crashed into the helicopter... A random tornado just broke out for whatever reason. I said, damn, I got to play that. <laughs> and I don't even play shooters. But Microsoft was able to campaign that bad boy in a way that I said, I need that. How? How do you have over access of over hundreds of hundreds of games on Game Pass? And you're over there looking at those nines and tens on Metacritic and saying, you know what? I need to try out Ratchet and Clank. Like, what, what, what? Don't you see that you're being conned? Then you buy the game and then you're mad because it's garbage. You're mad because you're you're falling through, you're, you're, in, you're stuck in some type of time warp. Fall, you're walking on the stage, all of a sudden you you go through the stage, you go into another dimension that the game, the, the game creators didn't even create. You're, you, Sony fanboys are going through some type of glitch, right? Where they're literally walking and then they're falling and then all of a sudden, Ratchet and Clank is falling and flying through the sky, right? And he's just flying. And he's just falling and falling and falling and falling and falling and falling. And like he's just stuck. The game's just stuck of him falling, right? And Sony fanboys are hyping that up. Hmm? Yeah, Sony fanboys are hyping up glitches. Something that the developers did not intend for you to do. Ratchet, is, Ratchet and Clank is falling, right? And then they're like, what you mad for? They, Zelda's doing that in the new Zelda Breath of the Wild trailer. I, I'm, I'm not lying. They started talking about how Zelda Breath of the Wild, well, the game was created for you to jump from the skies. Y'all thought the Assassin's Creed er, uh, eagle drop into some type of hay was lit. Wait until you fall from, from the heavens. <laughs> They were trying to compare that to that. I'm like, but that's intended. That was made for the game for you to fall from the skies. This is a glitch. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Please stay in your lane. And I get it. I get the whole tribalism. Phil Spencer told you guys to be nice so you guys are playing nice. But listen, come on, man. Sony acquiring house, house, whatever, and blue, blue, I want to curse, blue point. That's nothing to applaud. That's not A plus. That's a waste of money. And, and I give it, I give it five years before they get kicked out of Sony, go out of business. Because the next game, oh God, 
wait till you see the next game. It's going to be so bad, and people are not going to fall for the con again. Hey, man, isn't this the same people that made Returnal? That buggy piece of mess that I tried to get my money back, but you blocked me from the Sony servers? Wait till you see the next game that they remaster with Bluepoint. You're like, who the hell wanted this? I had to talk about this, guys. This I, I couldn't wait for the podcast to um to talk about this. I, I had to get this off my chest because as a as a true, 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 true Sony fan, um I mean like true, true diehard fan, I I can go over the history of PlayStation and Sony since its beginnings. Um I could take some type of Jeopardy quiz and get them all correct. If they were to come at me with some questions or things like that, such man, I I, I love PlayStation. I, I really fell in love with PlayStation because of their exclusives and the Japanese studios, and not only that, the the first the the exclusives they got from third party developers like Square Enix, Capcom, and um, things of that such. But those days are long, long gone. And I should have seen the writing on the wall a long time ago. And, and I've come to accept it. But I will not accept you dropping Japan Studios, who makes great games, and they made one of your 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 last great games, like in Bloodborne. You will never have another good game again. Never. 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 What are you talking about? Astro? No, no. Never. You will never have another good PlayStation game ever again. Remember they were saying Ratchet and Clank was going to be the Bloodborne killer? Remember they said that? In the we, we know the reviews a couple weeks ago. Remember they were coming out in the media saying such terrible things like that. But why, why does the media keep doing that? It's so that's so nasty and disgusting. It's getting out of control. Why does the media? Why are they doing this? And then and then when we we respond, we get mad. We go, oh man, you guys, man, you're just you're just juvenile, man. Now we're just immature. We don't like the games that they tell us that are, are better than Bloodborne. And all of a sudden, it's our fault. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I, I know Bloodborne didn't sell, but I, I just did a, um, I just showed one of my videos where I was camping outside for Bloodborne. I was spinning all, I was the only Sony fan to do this. No other Sony fan has done this ever. Camp outside. Nintendo fans camp outside for the, for, 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 for Amiibos. I was the only Sony fanboy that went out there and camped for, for Bloodborne. And they didn't have, there was no advertise. They didn't advertise Bloodborne. I bet you guys can't remember not one advertisement for Bloodborne. You didn't even know the game came out. You would have known it came out if, if you were, if you, if you, if you weren't on my channel, you never knew the game came out. But if you were on this channel, you would have never known about it unless I talked about it. Did Bloodborne even crack two million? Yeah, that's on me. It's my fault. It cracked two million, but it didn't crack two million at full price like Nintendo games. It had to crack that ten million because or two million because um. The game, the game just damn near free. I think they did give the game away for free. They count those as sales. When you when you purchase it for free, they count that as sales. What's 
what's going on over there? Are, 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 what, after seeing that egregious article of that guy making love to his PlayStation, uh, now I'm like, what well, you guys, you, you, you know, you're not, you're not buying the games, right? You're not buying the games. You're not buying the Bloodborne's and or what you got, uh, what Sony's telling you to buy, like the Order 1886, Horizon, Kill Zone. You're not buying the Persona 5s. You didn't buy Nino Kuni. So nobody's buying games, right? So what's really going on behind the scenes with these PlayStations? I remember the, the statistics came out and they were saying that the PlayStation 4 was the highest place for people to watch porn, porn, pornographic videos. It was the highest place. There was so many people watching um, pornographic videos on the PlayStation more than any other console. Combined, they, they were combining the the Xbox, Nintendo, the, the handheld consoles, and and PlayStation was just destroying them when it pertains to to to, to people sitting around watching porn. You didn't buy Returnal. You you, you didn't buy um, Demon Souls. You didn't buy Shadow of Colossus. These are all games that were created by the two companies that were acquired today. And yet I see everybody on Twitter, Sony fanboys cheering. But in all due honesty, you guys don't like the games that they make. So what is really going over there at PlayStation? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing to your council? <clears throat> And why did they shape the new PlayStation to look like the way that it looks? Why did they shape the new PlayStation to look like? Hold on. Hold on. How did I get here? Hold on. Why did they shape the new PlayStation to look like this? Can I get can I get a bit of, of footage of it? People showing off their terrible controllers. It's such an ugly controller, those, those PlayStation 5 controllers. I, I barely even know it's a controller. Why did they shape it to look like this? Hmm? For those of us who've, who've had a chance to get access to a woman, and, and we know what we're looking at here. Nothing is by mistake. Are they appealing to the eyes of the PlayStation fan? Are they, you know, you know, what's going on? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm just being objective. Game Pass is the future. 30 game showcase at E3, 27 day one game pass. Sony fans uh, paying. Yeah, we're going to get into it. Um, we're going to get into Game Pass. This Saturday, external podcast, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, the Most High has gifted me with some information on uh, Game Pass. I think over the week, uh, weekend, Game Pass was trending, and um, it, it was it was it was beautiful. And I would love to really dive deep on the psychosis of the Sony fanboy. Just being objective, does the the just the sight of Game Pass as it just makes the Sony fanboy sick, turns their stomach. Oh, shoot. You shouldn't have donated. I'm sorry. Um, blind you. I apologize. Yo, Zaylis, what's up, buddy? Remember Sony had to uh, disable the Playroom feature because people were using it for sexual reasons? Yeah. Hold on real quick, guys. I need to get back to bland juice. Okay, here it is. No advertisement of uh, everybody's golf, Gravity Rush, Puppeteer. It's sad. Also, why is Media Monica still here after the flops like Tear Away in Dreams? That's the thing. It's it, there, There's just... It's just so much confusion. 
when you look at Sony today, you're, you're just confused at everything that they're doing. You're like, why did they get rid of the Japanese studios? Why didn't they just help promote the games? Why did was it there? They wanted to get rid of the PlayStation Store to get rid of the old PlayStation games. Why, uh, you know? It's just constant, constant confusion over there at Sony, and you just like, I, I just don't get it. I understand. I don't work there. I'm just an average, everyday consumer. But it's like, prove me wrong. Because, you know, what I'm saying is there not points? There's not points to, hey, these games aren't selling. And yet Sony's pushing that out, but they didn't push any of the Japanese games. I'm telling you, if they were to promote the Japanese games, the people would get behind it. These guys are still stuck in um in 2010, 11. They still think Call of Duty and all that Assassin's Creed is where it's at, man. Japan then made Jap uh, Japanese games relevant. And Microsoft is quickly as smart as Microsoft is, even though I've been telling Microsoft to do it for years. You can go back and Google it. Microsoft is like, we are going all in on Japan. Thank you so much, Blanji, for the donation, man. Twitter wars, they don't actually play games. Yes, yes, I, I know. At the end of the day, everybody here, we get, we get busy, don't we? We get busy. Oh, I just got done uh, putting over 20 hours into the... Um, Ooh, that's a nice question. Do you think uh, with Game Pass on phone is a threat to the Nintendo Switch? Good question. Good question. Let me put that up. Let me leave that up. I don't know. Yeah, gamers game. Yeah, gamers game. PlayStation exclusives are not games. Y'all get busy. I know that. I know if somebody was quickly just started running right now, right next to you. You would you would try to you would try to outrun them. Let some um. Let a, a ball fall on, fall out of the um, the janitor's closet while you're in class. You're like, oh shit! Look at that ball over there. I'm about to grab that ball and toss it around. You know what I mean? Gamers game. Let some girls be doing some uh, uh, turn rope or whatever they used to call that jump rope. Remember they used to do that in the playgrounds? The girls would be turning the ropes and they'll jump in and, blah, blah. and in the back of your mind, you're like, man, that's a, that's a girl's game. I, sh I should be over here playing basketball, but I want to jump and see if how long I can I can last. Gamers get busy, but for some strange reason, when we see a Sony exclusive, we'd be like this. Uh, it's not really a game. Yeah, we're going to talk about this weekend. Um, I saw that. Let me see if it's in my notes. Hold on, guys. I believe I have it in my notes. Microsoft is making some big moves. Is it going to be a threat to Nintendo Switch? I I don't I don't know. I um I don't think so. I don't think so. Um hold on. Was I already here? God dang it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm already here. Um I mean I, I'm not a fanboy. I'm not a fanboy of anybody. I, I will ha I have a special place in my heart for people, um, for, for, for companies that offer the games that I want to play. Um, hold on. I, I could have sworn I put it in my notes. But anyway, but this, Xbox has got it popping, man. Okay, and here we go. Xbox Cloud Gaming is now available on Apple and Windows 10. For Game Pass Ultimate subscribers, yeah, there it is. We're going to talk about that later. Microsoft is popping right now. They 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 they're really coming for the landscape. They're coming for the phones and and all that. I don't I don't think it's going to be a threat to Nintendo, but it could be. It could be. If you're able to, um, you know, play. Say if you're playing uh, Starfield. 
you're in the middle of your game and all of a sudden you know you got to go hey joe we got to go let's go <clears throat> you got your cell phone you got access to your phones your apple phones and then you can continue playing your game <clears throat> and you know for us who play games who cares about the quality dropping we're just looking to we're looking to get busy you know we just looking to go ahead and get busy. When we get back home, then we can get back to the big screen TV. We can get back to the the, 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 the the quick resume. We can get back to the game pass. We can get back to the bells and whistles when we get back to the crib. But for those of us who don't want to stop the, the current experience of, of, you know, level grinding, getting new weapons, you know, for those who want to game, for those of us who like games, I'm pretty sure that people, PlayStation fans are going to tease you. Oh, look at the low, the quality is not as good. Blah, blah. But listen, for those of us who game, we don't we don't listen to them anyway. We don't we never consider the PlayStation fanboys to be gamers anyway. They spend more time on Twitter. Their Twitter pages are more popular than their YouTube pages, and that's egregious. You don't even make money on Twitter. I'd rather have more viewers on YouTube and make money than be on Twitter and pay, get helping Twitter get money. So I don't know. I, I, it will be. It will be. It will be. Um, my guys, what was that? A nominator? Yo, 100. You just helped my job to the office. Uh, I didn't know that Sony did that. Yeah. Oh, man. There's so much about it. I'm telling you, man. There is so much I know about Sony. That's why they can never back me into the wall. That's why they don't mess with me. The Sony fanboys, they don't mess with me. They, they, they get far away. Every time I come around them, they start running. And they start, like, screaming. Ah! Yeah, yeah! yeah, I swear. They start screaming at me. Get away! Get away! They don't mess with me. They mess with y'all. They don't mess with me. I'm a bully on the block when it comes to, to the Sony fanboys. They're there. They're watching. They don't mess with me the way they mess with y'all because I, man, I, I, my Sony knowledge goes back. Am I lying? Did he, ah, ah, I'm, I, I want to pull a video up right now of these guys of me. I did a video and it was screaming at me. I was like, damn, my, my baby's mama don't even do that. All right, guys. Uh, yes. So, yes, we'll be back for the external podcast this Saturday. And the topic will be why do Sony fanboys hate Xbox Game Pass so much? Oh, we're going to get into it. It's objective. That's why I put the question mark, because I don't want to just be me on the microphone spewing. I want you guys to get involved as well. Pretty soon, I'm going to find a way to have some type of call call in service. Wouldn't that be great for people to call in? And it's not just me running my mouth for, for an hour or two. I would love to do some type of phone call segment. Maybe we might try, we might experiment with it with do Discord. I'm gonna put my Discord uh in the thing so that you guys can when the show starts, I'm gonna give you guys my Discord. And then you guys come in and we'll do some type of call-in special. I'll let you guys talk. So it's not just me. So we can be objective. How does that sound, guys? That sounds cool. Review for Sony titles look like creative writing essays for English college. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I think they probably just came, they got them out of college, some liberal college. May have made them play. You, you, you play these games, they're not even games. And, there's, and Lord knows what the hell they're even marveling over. If you don't like the game, the story is freaking boring as hell. The hell are you guys marveling over just because the characters look like dudes the girl characters look like dudes what kind of weird sick stuff is going on in gaming we're going to talk about that's going to be the subtopic as well um the subtopic as well now oh, listen i'm not a fan i'm just an objectivist i'm just a pro-truther but i saw something that was very concerning with microsoft are they part of the agenda as well Oh, you guys have to see the notes that I have, man. I got some notes. You guys know I got me some notes. I hope I, it didn't look like Microsoft was going down around that route when I saw their event. Um, 
there are some concerning things when when I hear their language, but when it came to the event, I didn't see anything pro agenda. But I am seeing I I'm finding some information. I'm like, oh, look like Microsoft about to go down that route. Do we drag Microsoft as well the same way we drag Sony? Or we just chalk it up as just Microsoft is just, you know, pandering or, or playing the game just to keep people from thinking that, they're, you know, trying to keep it. Pol uh, uh, it's political, but it's not political in the aspect. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Yes. Yes. Sly. Yes. You believe in dragging everybody. Yes. Everybody can get it. I believe the same thing. Yes. Drag everyone. Everybody can get it. Everybody can get it. Not Nintendo. Nintendo still has not tiptoed and crossed that line. As a matter of fact, I believe uh, Nintendo was getting actually more, uh, what you call that? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm rocking with Nintendo, though, heavy, because they, they don't believe in censorship. They're not coming out and calling the fanboys childish. They're just letting people just game. That's it. it just, you know what? Just, just game. Go ahead and play your games, and you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about no personalities in front of the camera, dancing up on the videos. Come on over to death row. Nintendo, if you got if you got some Django Esco Ricky, if you have some notes, uh, tweet me at uh, Monkey King Zobi if you got something because everybody can get it. Nintendo lets their fans curse spits. There, yeah. But we'll talk about it. I saw something very concerning and I have to talk about it. That's our subtopic. Is Microsoft also going to be pushing agendas? All right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping through. I will see you guys Saturday. No, uh, for those of us who, who are uh who's into gaming, I'll see you guys Friday because we will be playing Naruto Storm 2. On uh, on Twitch, at Zobie seventy. Yo, Killer Black Mamba, Killer Black. We about to start playing some Pokemon again, bro. We do anime fight night every Friday. We're gonna start playing Pokemon. Join us, okay? Hey, a nominator. Thank you so much, man. <laughs>